Hey, what's up? What's up? Leonidas is coming at you here with another video about BitConnect. BitConnect, guys, there's a lot of stuff going on right now surrounding BitConnect, man. There's been rumors that it might be a Ponzi scheme, that this might be going on, but top stories out right now. BitConnect was now served with a cease and desist letter in North Carolina as well. So let's take a look at this. U.S. regulators hit BitConnect with the second cease and desist case. That was like 44 minutes ago. So let's take a look and see what this is uh, talking about. Let's also pull up this behind the uh, MLM. <laughs> this is always fun. All right, so BitConnect handed yet another cease and desist letter, this time in North Carolina. Let's find out why. It appears sketchy Bitcoin investment lending community. BitConnect is mirrored illegal, is mirrored in legal trouble yet again. The North Carolina Securities Division has served the platform at yet another cease and desist letter. According to the company, to uh, Ordering the company to temporarily suspend its operations within within the state. In an official statement, the North Carolina Securities Division said that for the for what for the time being, BitConnect has has now been barred from soliciting offers to purchase or sell any securities unless the assets have been properly registered as such. The order, which was announced was issued uh, on January 9th, outlines that the investment platform has 30 days to respond to the hearing before the decision becomes final. None of the Bitcoin BitConnect entities or has ever been registered to sell securities in the state of North Carolina. The filing reads. So here's the actual filing. Secretary, uh, the Secretary of the State of North Carolina, pursuant to her, to her authority and responsibility to to administer and enforce the North Carolina Securities Act. Blah 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 blah. The further noted notice warns that warns that. It is illegal for BitConnect and its and its representatives or affiliates to engage in such activities unless listed as legitimate securities dealer or war salesman. The order applies to the entire state of North Carolina and will affect multiple registrations of the company. I'm sorry, multiple registrations of the company, including BitConnect, BitConnect Ltd, BitConnect International PLC, and BitConnect Trading Limited, according to the filing. Um, among other things, the NC Securities Division emphasized that the company provides misleading information about its platform and the volatile nature of, of investing in general, blatantly promising daily profits and interest accumulation. The legal notice further grinds the investment website for failing to disclose material facts about the company, including the identity of its founding members, location of its operations, information about assets, liabilities, and guarantees, source code behind its primary trading software as well as the fact that affiliate reps who receive referral rewards are in violation of the Securities Act. So that that, that right there answers a huge question. Um, anybody that's affiliated with it who are receiving affiliate um, compensation is in violation of the Securities Act. So um, that and that that really puts a huge damper in my parade because I'm an affiliate there and I have earned with them and I'm going to be looking to correct this and make this whole. Um, the threatening notice of the NC Securities Division marks at least the third time the, investi the, in the investment website has been served with the cease and desist order. Earlier in January, Texas Securities Board had an investment platform to similar cease and desist barring, barring the company from operating within the state. British Registrar of Companies has also sent an official legal notice to BitConnect warning to shut down company and dissolve its operations. Wow. Uh, meanwhile, Cryptocurrency pioneers like Ethereum founder Vitalik Buterin and Litecoin founder Charlie Lee have been cautioning people against the company's doggy, dodgy business model, calling the platform a Ponzi scheme. Um, BitConnect is currently valued at $294 per coin. It's probably a little more, boasting market share of $1.8 billion according to CoinMarketCap. Let's go to CoinMarketCap and check that out and see what's going on there. So... A lot of times you got to do your due diligence. I didn't do enough due diligence on this company, and I just jumped in head first. And it looks like I might have jumped into some hot water. So BitConnect is not even listed on there anymore. There it is, it's number 26. It fell down. It used to be around number 16. Um, so it fell about 3%. BitConnect is, you know, it might be an illegitimate company. Who knows? You know, like they said, they don't know who the founders are of the company. They don't know any of that kind of stuff. So it's pretty interesting. So BitConnect is a coin, is an open source peer-to-peer -peer community driven decentralized cryptocurrency that allows people to store and invest their wealth in a non-government controlled currency and even earn substantial interest on their investment. BitConnect coin can 
be bought and sold both online and offline. However, the most popular way is to exchange them on the cryptocurrency site where you can buy and sell exchange BitConnect coin for other digital currency or fiat money. BitConnect, a self-regulated financial system, what determines, affects, influences BitConnect price, BitConnect coin price, and a BitConnect system. BitConnect coin price is is perceived perceived regard for its supply and demand features designed during BitConnect coin algorithm with BitConnect le lending platform. The future value of BitConnect coin is a result of many aspects of coin supply, mining, minting algorithm, BitConnect community network, and its features. This guideline discussed the most important factors that lead that lead its users to consider BitConnect coin to be valuable as now as in the near future. I'm not reading more right now. So this is just a little bit about BitConnect coin. Coin distribution. How they are used. So BitConnect coins are used in a BitConnect community. Members for BitConnect serve at and to store to invest the wealth and not go. Alright, you already read that. Alright, so they have all this cool mumbo jumbo about it, but um, as for what I'm seeing, man, the whole model really is just a bit of a. Um, it's just a bit of a. Uh, it does look very Ponzi scheme ish. You know what I mean? So I don't know if it will be safe to say, yeah, invest. I would not recommend for you to do that based off of what we just read. So um, definitely a no-go with everything that's going on around BitConnect in the news right now. See, North Carolina, this is on Coindesk, January 11th. BitConnect is plan BitConnect's planned initial uh, ICO attract another season assist letter from U.S. regulators. Boom. So there you go. I would not do it. North Carolina, fraud cease and desist order. So it lets you know it's probably a fucking Ponzi scheme. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull the plug on this. You should do too. So I'll see you in the next video. I hope this helps. Peace.